Welcome back guys and girls and thank you for joining me for my new video on the UFC 246 fight that went down on the 18th of January with uh, Connor and Cowboy Cerrone. Now as we know, um, it was a very quick fight. Uh, it was a TKO within the 40 seconds of the first round. Connor obviously showing some new moves and new, new approach to his, uh, his style of combat with obviously the, uh, the shoulders, which, you know, let's, let's face it, compl uh, took, compl took Cowboy out completely. He, uh, he certainly wasn't expecting that. And um, it was a very quick victory and very easy uh, from what we saw. Now, there has been some uh, controversy, some people calling out that it was a fix. And um, obviously, Connor's camp are saying, you know, this is certainly was not a fixed fight. And um, obviously, with Cowboy's history and success, I think, you know, he, he, he wouldn't want to just go for a money fight and, and take a loss just to just to get a bigger paycheck. Now, obviously, it's speculation. I don't actually know him and what goes on behind closed doors. But I feel that going into the fight, Cowboy, he, he didn't want to lose and he wasn't willing to lose on, uh, on purpose, just for money. And obviously, this is, the, um, this is the footage of the shoulders to the face three times um, and then obviously then the kick to the head, the very accurate kick to the face. And obviously, this is what took Cowboy out so quickly. And it was actually uh, Connor's second fastest victory in all his fights. Despite having a 15 month absence from the sport, he came back, you know, looking like a brilliant fighter and knew exactly what he was doing. And it was a very much one sided fight uh, from start to finish because Cerrone didn't land one hit to Connor. Um, and obviously, I've not mentioned that Connor actually did break his nose with the, uh, with the shoulders. So, you know, obviously, and then finishing with the, the high kick. Um, to grab the victory with obviously other flurries of punches and kicks. So it was a very impressive fight. I, I certainly don't think it was fixed. And I congratulate Connor for his, you know, amazing comeback, despite having all that time off. And his great showmanship, you know, he, he was a good sportsman. He was really humble. You see here with Cerrone's grandma, you know, hugging and talking and whatnot. And I thought, you know, <clears throat> there might be a part that is slightly fake, but ultimately Connor didn't have to do that. He could have been, you know, more of a, a glory hunter and, and showing off and, you know, being an arsehole, basically, and arrogant. But he didn't. He was humble in victory. He was calm. He was very supportive. And, you know, he, he, he I think he's changed. And I'm hoping going to his, his fights for the rest of the year, this is how he's going to be. Um, certainly deserving of a victory. Commiserations to Cowboy. You know, I know it's in your blood and you love fighting. You're not going to stop fighting after this. It's just a shame that we didn't get to see any of your signature moves yourself because you are an amazing fighter. But uh, nonetheless, that's obviously how it went down. And uh, funny enough, as you can see here, Tony Robbins was there. And um, if you didn't know, Tony's actually been coaching him. So uh, quite interesting, interesting matchup there. But Tony's very successful in his own right. So it obviously works. So well done, Tony, for, for helping Connor out. But anyway, so moving on to obviously uh, next fight. So as we know, Khabib and Ferguson. They've been penciled for the 18th of uh, 18th of April, sorry, and obviously it's been <laughs> they've been trying to plan a fight between these two for ages, and every time that the the fights are booked, they meet one another as you see here, it's always cancelled, and it's very frustrating because this is what we want to see. Um, this is going to be a fantastic matchup between two amazing athletes and fighters, and it's long overdue. It's been so many years that it's almost happened, then it hasn't, almost happened, then it hasn't, and now finally we're actually going to see it happen. Fingers crossed. Now, Connor said that uh, to, to Dana, funny enough, that he doesn't think the fight's going to happen again, but I think it's, it's a fact that this time it's going to happen because the winner of this more than likely is going to go on and fight Connor if Dana agrees to it, and obviously, I mean, I'm not saying Khabib's going to win, but everyone wants to see the rematch with Khabib and Connor. Ferguson would be interesting to, uh, against Connor, but because of the the history and the rivalry and the hate between Khabib and uh, McGregor, I think that's the fight that people want to see after this. And obviously, Khabib hasn't had a fight for a while, and as I mentioned, he he needs to do this fight with Ferguson, and obviously that's. That's booked up for April, like I said. So April the 18th, one day before my birthday. So uh, I'm definitely going to be watching that. And hopefully 
maybe someone will uh, pay for my pay-per-view. And funnily anyway. enough, surprise, surprise, Connor said, obviously, he's willing to step in if one of them pulls out of the fight. So he doesn't care. He wants to fight everyone. Dana even says in an interview that Connor's just not scared of anyone, any division. He wants every fighter in every division. And he, he's ready to fight anyone at any time. And obviously, he's had a long break. So I can see why he's so keen and eager to get back involved. But anyway, obviously, these guys are going to headline at UFC 249. Um, it'll be at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. And, you know... <laughs> It's going to be an amazing fight. Hopefully neither of them pull out because obviously this is the fifth time uh, that they've been put forward. Both obviously pulling out two times prior. And uh, provided they don't get injury dur uh, injured during training and no one bottles out for whatever reason, it's going to happen and it has to happen. And I think <clears throat> it should happen before Connor gets a chance to fight Khabib. So... That's how I see it happening. These two will fight first, and then, fingers crossed, whether Khabib wins that or not, Connor will then obviously get involved, and uh, he'll, he'll then take out um, Khabib. Well, I say take out, but we don't know what's going to happen there. The last time he met him, and the first time, it didn't go so well for Connor. But I think Connor definitely has a different edge now, and uh, he's different mentally. I think the help with Tony has definitely changed him, and let's see what happens. So who do you think's next then? Obviously, we've got Diaz for the trilogy, Khabib for number two. There's also Masvidal and Usman. And, you know, with Usman, he had some issues with his Twitter account, supposedly, which was hacked, and it was a, there was a lot of abuse sent out to, uh, to Connor about his wife and family and such. And obviously, Dana didn't want Connor to react in a negative way outside of the ring like he did with Khabib of the bus incident. Um, you know, I don't know if it was real or not. It looked like it was hacked to me. Um, a lot of people say that Connor shouldn't fight Usman. It should be Masvidal first in the welterweight. Um, and I would agree. I would say that Masvidal has done well to work his way up and he deserves um, a big money fight. He even said in a recent interview that he wants to fight. Usman, I think should fight Connor at some point, but I don't think just yet. Um, he's an amazing fighter, you know, Nigerian powerhouse, absolute savage. He's got that raw African power to him, and he's a very successful champion in his rights. And uh, I would love to see that, but I don't think it's going to happen just yet. But as I mentioned before, I think Masvidal is going to be the next matchup. So he mentioned that he'd like to fight next in April. Um and I think that would be a good time for, for Connor to have a new fight with someone. Um, if, obviously, Khabib, he has his fight in April and Ferguson, Ferguson doesn't pull out, in my eyes, it should be Ferguson and Khabib in April and then April or June for Connor with Masvidal. With Diaz, personally, I think the trilogy is not really on the cards. I think it's not as interesting as a fight now. And, you know, Diaz has been hurt quite a few times and obviously was hurt quite badly by... Masvidal in the BMF title so I think he's going to be taking some time out and in terms of the fights that can happen Dana in this interview you know he's not he's not saying too much but he's saying big things are coming in the future in the next five six years and with the introduction of new tech and stuff and their boxing and how they're moving as a media company there are some big and exciting things to come um, I think personally that he's going to book Masvidal with Connor. And then he will try to get Khabib to fight him for a rematch. But I don't think Khabib's very keen because obviously, you know, let's face it, Connor really offended him and he attacked him out in the open um, like a scumbag, basically. And, uh, you know, he, he disrespected him. And, you know, this, I know he's showing that he's changing and may have changed completely, but people don't forget some things and people can be bitter. And I think Khabib's definitely bitter and not so keen. Um, another fight that could happen and people keep pushing for is a Floyd Mayweather rematch, and that would be very entertaining. I would love to see that, and I think that could definitely happen. Obviously, as I mentioned, Dana pushing pushing uh, his company into the more of the boxing realm. So, anyway, I hope you guys like the video today. Let me know what your thoughts are on on the upcoming fights for Connor. Who do you think he's gonna he's gonna take on? Um, you know, is is Khabib gonna is Khabib gonna happen again? Or is it going to be someone new? You know, a new opponent, like I mentioned, Masvidal, or possibly Usman? Um, or do you think it's going, to be, it's going to be Diaz? 
But let, let me know in your thoughts uh, in the comments section below. Also, if you did like the video, please remember to leave a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, keep your eyes peeled, obviously, because I'm going to be making a video, uh, obviously, as we get closer to the Tyson Fury and Wilder rematch coming up in just a couple weeks' time. That's obviously set to be a sensational fight, and I can't wait for that. Um, and obviously, that fight is set for a trilogy anyway, regardless of what happens from, from that fight. Um, and as we all know, this is a, a big fight coming up, so a lot of hype. A lot of stuff coming up for those two guys. Obviously, I've covered previously about the heavyweight division and the potential unification after the fight with Tyson and Wilder. But obviously, that's for another video and for a future topic. But anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in today. Have a good week ahead. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Amiga One Fitness, signing out.